Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In previous video, we have created a simple process to configure web automation and extract data from web pages. Today, we will create an advanced web data extraction. Let's create a robot that does the following. Go to fakenamegenerator.com, generate a list of 5 fake personal particulars, write this list to an Excel file. So in the first thing, what we need to do is we understand what are the values in this fake name generator. So we open a Google Chrome and we navigate to this page. Right, so over here, what we will need to do is click on generate. I start the name, address, phone, and birthday. Okay, so before that, I also want to write into an Excel file, right? So I've created an Excel file called fake name generator over here we have a column of name address phone and dob okay so in this case i will use a launch new chrome paste the url i maximize this and i click save so now the next one what we do is launch excel Open a following document. Let me copy this as path. And then remove the double quote. I make the instance as hidden. So it will do work in background. Save. So now what I need is I loop five times, right? I drag a loop action, I start from 1, end to 5, increment by 1. So over here, now the next step, what I will use is get the first free row. And then, each time when we loop something, we get the row, we extract the values, and we write it in the Excel file. After that, we save. Okay, so now we use press button on a web page and then we select the element. So let me bring this forward and open the browser, select generate, select the name, select address, select the phone and the birth date. Okay, click done. I reselect this again. I click save. So in this case, let me give a proper naming convention. Once done, I click save. And then I will want to extract the details, right? So to extract the details, we search for get details of element on a web page. Okay, so we select name, give a variable called name, and repeat this for the rest. Alright, so now the next step is we want to write the value into Excel. We use a write to Excel worksheet. Value to write, we choose name on a specified cell at column A. Row, we will use the first free row. And click save. Repeat this. For the rest, okay. Now, once done, you drag a safe Excel.
save the document and then we may want to close the browser and also close the excel at the end of the flow All right, so let's try to run this. Before that, let me close this browser first. All right, so now it's done. Let me open the file. Okay, as you can see here, I started from here. It's because previously I've deleted a record from here. So if I were to delete this, right? Is if you want to delete this row, remember not to click on the delete button. It doesn't work. You have to use delete this. Okay, so the next time if I try to run this again, it will append it here. So let me try again. But in this case, let me just reduce the number to 2. Okay, so now it's done. Let me open the file again. All right, see, it says is appended underneath here. Okay, so that's all for this exercise. So if you're keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel, as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Thank you.